The Captain Captain Paw Blicks. 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 Movie C for the Blicks. Movie C for the Blicks. Movie C for the Blicks. The Captain Talks Flicks. Welcome to the Captain Talks Flicks podcast. I'm your host, the Captain Cortez, aka Mr. Love, and this is where we talk flicks. I welcome the podcast, the podcast with me, the Captain. That's about movies, TV, sports, flicks, anything you can see on the tube of screen. I like to get out here and give my unique perspective. Because after 45 years of being on planet Earth, I've developed a unique perspective about these movies, TV, sports, and flicks. I think I can tell you about it. Because just maybe, just maybe you care. In the core of the stats, looks like you do care. I want to give a big shout out to North Macedonia. We got some plays over there this past week. Gracias, gratitude, todo repa. And North Macedonia. I saw that you guys got a lot of castles over there. I was on the internet, I was like, man, you guys got a whole bunch of castles. No, I've never been to a castle in my life. Anywhere on planet Earth. I've never been to any kind of castle. So I think it would be interesting to go over to North Macedonia, your place. And just go hang out with some of them castles. They look awesome on the internet. I'm sure in person they're just that much more beautiful and majestic and, and awesome. So one of these days, when the corona's over, maybe I'll fly over to North Macedonia and go chill and hang out with some castles and post some pics on the gram. Yeah, yeah, I could do that. And just an FYI, back day with school's big radio DJ. But I never got a job. Maybe I never became a radio DJ. Because I never saw a castle in person. If I would have saw a castle in person, that might have gave me the inspiration to aspire to become a world-renowned radio DJ. But I didn't. And that allowed me to become the greatest podcaster in the Matrix. Something to debate. Might be true, might not be true. But I said it on the internet. So it's got to be true, right? Because everything on the internet is facts or not. Or yay or nay. Maybe, maybe not. I think it's unclear. I know that. I think it's probably not true. Everything on the internet is not facts. So please be mindful, be aware, be careful when navigating cyberspace. Anyways, I can ramble here all day, but I won't. Let's get right into the podcast. But first, a word from our sponsor. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm on the tube. Yes, your boy, the captain, Jay Cortez, is on YouTube. I'm on the YouTube. So if you want to see some unique music videos of my art, my music that I create by yours truly, the captain, who not only is the greatest podcaster in the Matrix, but also does music on the side. Yeah, I do that. So check out the YouTube page. I'll put the link below. And you can connect, friend, buddy, share, like, heart, get notifications, hit the bell, all that. So put the link below. Do that. And now let's get on with the podcast. I showed up again. (laughs) Here I am showing up. I told you guys a couple episodes ago, part of like growing or becoming better or improving is just showing up. Like I said, I I stand by that. Like, right? I'm just showing up. Here I am again, showing up. You went to the link, you hit the play, you saw me. He's like, hey, the captain's here again. He just keeps showing up. Man, he's very dependable. (laughs) I never used to be. I am now. Actually, right now, at this moment in time, I am wearing a t-shirt with a samurai on the back that says discipline. Okay. Now, let's give you a quick story about this discipline t-shirt. I bought the discipline t-shirt like four years ago. And I wasn't quite as disciplined as I was now. But I was putting the idea out in the universe as an idea to to, to look towards and to, as, as a goal to master discipline. And now I'm further along in mastering discipline than I had in the past. When I had the discipline shirt on, I had a little bit of discipline. Now I got more. Something to aspire to. Put it out in the universe and here I am with my samurai shirt that says discipline on the back. Because discipline is something I look forward to. And part of that discipline is just showing up. And here I am again, showing up. So hey guys out there, you want to do something, accomplish something, just keep showing up. Just keep doing it over and over again. 
and you will get better, get skills, guaranteed. You will improve. Listen to episode one of this podcast if you don't believe me. And then once you hear it, you'll be like, yes, Captain, you kept showing up and I see it did work for you. So anyways, here I am again, showing up. And I just want to tell you guys, this week, actually a couple days ago, I got to see the movie Dune. Dune, D-U-N-E, Dune, Dune. I think they call it Dune because it takes place on sand dunes. I'm not really sure why they call it Dune. I don't think they used the word Dune once in the movie. I don't think one character spoke it. I'm not even sure why they call it Dune. I think it is because there's lots of sand in it. I don't know. It looked like it looked like the Middle East in the movie a little bit, honestly. But anyways, it, but anyways, not about that. I just want to say that Dune was a really good movie. The visuals were so stunning and spectacular and beautiful and elegant and awesome. And the, the special effects were fantastic. I thought the spacecraft and the machines looked real, right? A lot of these machines and cities and spaceships look real. Like I could walk out my door and see one flying in the sky. That's how real they look. These were some great visuals. My buddy was saying the cinematography is great. Agreed. It is fantastic cinematography. For sure, definitely. Visuals were so beautiful. It was like two hours and 30 minutes or something, but it didn't go, it didn't seem long. It was, it was really good. It's really well done. And one thing I want to talk about about the movie, I'm not going to spoil the movie. I'm not going to go into details about the plot. I'm not going to talk about the books because I never read the books. But I'm going to I'm gonna focus and circle on one thing. So spoilers if you haven't seen the movie. The lead character, the young guy, I can't remember his name right now, I forgot. But um, he has, um, he almost has like psychic abilities I think maybe or special abilities he can use his voice in a way to to command people to do stuff so like, use your voice and he also has like dreams and he can see things or whatever right and then one of the scenes he's just sitting somewhere like he's in a tent or something he's just seeing like images and when I saw that I'm like I'm not psychic I don't have special mental abilities but I totally could relate to that you ever been somewhere just sitting there? Just sitting in space, just sitting waiting somewhere maybe. And all of a sudden you're seeing the past in your mind, right? Like you see past events in your mind, just up in the mind, just seeing them. You're seeing them, you're looking straight ahead. Like I'm looking at a wall right now. But you still see those events in your mind, right? It's kind of like what happened in the movie. And even the future, like you can project and think about the future. You can see events and scenarios happen. Just standing there. I'm standing at this microphone right now, talking to this mic. And even at the same time while I'm talking to this mic, in the back of my brain and my mind is somewhere up there. I can see visualized things at the same moment. I don't have psychic powers. I'm not I'm not a psychic or a, a special abilities. It's just part of how the brain works. And it's not when I saw that movie and he was doing that. It reminded me of myself because like I've been a lot of times he's sitting somewhere. And a lot of times things will come up that I don't want to think about. You ever had old stuff from back and they just pop up and you don't want to think about? Yeah, well, I'm sure you have. It's kind of like in that movie. He's just sitting there and all of a sudden things are popping up. And then he's dealing with it in a very emotional way. He's like, oh my gosh, this is too much. And I've never got that level of emotion with it. But then sometimes you get it like, I don't want to think about this today. There's too much going on. I don't want to see it. So maybe we're all a little bit like this dude in Dune, right? And another thing too, where they say he sees possible future scenarios. Yeah, we do the same thing, right? You ever thought about something? That could happen in the future and saw it multiple ways. Can you visualize it, see it, see the pieces, see the items, see the, the people. Yeah, we do it all the time. We do it all the time. So this guy may have special enhanced psychic abilities or something. But he's not too far, far off from us. We all have a little bit of that guy in us. Now with the voice part, I never commanded something to do for somebody with the voice. Maybe there's human beings out there that have that power of their voice. They can command troops, command legions, command groups. With the strength of the voice. Politicians, religious figures, they use a voice all the time and they do move crowds, move people. So maybe there's some truth to that too. There's maybe some, maybe there's a little bit of truth to these things. It's science fiction, it's fake. But there's a little bit of reality mixed in with that. At least that's the way I saw it. You know, you come to this podcast, you are going to get a unique perspective that only the captain can give. You probably heard a bunch of other people talk about Dune and they didn't say all that. Guaranteed. Go listen to a bunch of other Dune podcasts or Dune this or Dune that, writings or whatever. No one's going to tell you that. 
You only the captain can tell you that. Because I think about weird stuff. It's just what I do. So anyways, that's Dune. Dune's a cool experience. I wish I would have saw it in the theater. But I think in the home theater, a streaming, what I noticed from movies in the theater, is when I see the movies in the theater, and I see them at home. Now, the big theater experience is cool. You get all the big sound, the big visuals, picture. But you miss out on the details. I notice when I see things in the theater, and I see my home. When I'm at home, I just catch more details. I think maybe because I'm more focused. I don't know what it is. But for whatever reason, I can see more details at the home version, the home, that I do with the theater. Usually. And I'm sure it would have been a great, awesome spectacle in the theater. But I think seeing it in the home theater, I had to see more details. Like what I just told you a minute ago. I might have caught all that or thought about all that in the theater. I don't know. But anyways, good flick. I highly recommend you check it out. Theater or on HBO Max. It's dope. Was, it was pretty good sci-fi. I've been waiting on sci-fi. You know, sci-fi is my favorite genre. And the spy is number two. So sci-fi is bringing it again. They're back. Coming back with more sci-fi. Yes. And there's supposed to be part two and part three or something, I think, I believe. So can't wait to see that. So might as well talk about Doom. And now we're going to talk about some more sci-fi. We're going to rewind the clock. We're going to rewind the clock. We're going to go back. We're in the present. Now we're going back. We're going back to like the 60s. Over the last few months, I've seen like three time travel movies. All in the 60s. Old flicks. And I loved them. They were great. The, the visuals and everything was a little antiquated. But still good experience. But the thing that was very interesting about these time travel movies is the theme of the movie. All three basically had the same theme. In these particular time travel shows, movies, they would travel to the future. Future Earth. All of them. All the ones I saw, they all did this. They went to Future Earth. And every time they got to Future Earth in all the movies I saw, the three movies I saw, Earth was always messed up. <laughs> it was. It was messed up. It was really messed up in these movies. So they would go to the future. I'm going to 5,000, whatever thousand years in the future. And Earth was always messed up. And then the people in the future would always tell them this in the movies I saw. So you need to go back to Earth. Your present Earth, your current Earth, your current timeline, you're where you're from. You need to tell them, slow down, slow your roll. Because if you don't slow your roll and start acting right, Earth's going to be messed up. That was the theme. That was the lessons back in the 60s. That was where the minds and the writers were at back then. Now, 2021... I would say that's a pretty good lesson to know. So yeah, a lot of those old flicks would have that theme. It's very interesting to see where the writers were at, the minds were at about the time. How they feared the future would be messed up. Now it would be interesting if those same writers, same same people from the 60s, could see how we're living now and think, hey, we were right, it's messed up. <laughs> or they think, hey, it's not that bad. I'm sure some of the people that wrote or were involved were probably still alive. I'm curious what their thoughts are. Very interesting to see what their perspective is. But um, that was the kind of running theme in these sci-fi flicks. Now, because I'm in the current time, I don't know if all our current sci-fi flicks are like that. Although it does seem a few years ago, there's a few different sci-fi flicks that were very similar in style and theme. I can't remember the names of them, but they seem to have the same theme, style, look. I should go back and watch a few of these to see if they are very similar. Because I want some, from looking back at the 60s sci-fi time travel flicks now, I could see that. Almost like the same plot. But they're still dope, though. And, and, and one additional thing. The only reason I was watching these is for entertainment, obviously. But also, what's research? The time travel album's coming. December 25th, 2021. It's coming. Time travel's coming. I'm still working on it. I'm doing research. <laughs> so that is all I want to talk about this week. Dune is dope. And we're all a little bit like the Dune character. Time travel movies from back in the day. Were they a warning to the future? Are we in the future now? Is the future messed up? I don't know. So that's it. That's all I'm going to talk about. And until next time, we'll see. Nobody owes nobody nothing. You owe yourself. Rocky 3. Until next time, it's the Captain Peace. The Captain, the Captain Talks, Talks Flicks. Flicks.